We welcome you in to week 11 of the Ken Spark Show and what will be the final version of the Ken Spark Show. I'm Adam Cavalier alongside Carson Newman head football coach Ken Sparks. Ken, let's just go ahead and, and knock this out now. Let's uh, do it. This is, we, we shoot these things Sunday morning. It's about oh, 7 a.m. Uh, Monday morning uh, around 1 p.m. You'll host a press conference announcing uh, your retirement. Uh, as head coach of Carson Newman University after 37 seasons, 338 wins. Uh, take me through how we've come to this moment. Well, <clears throat> I, you know, uh, first of all, I'm a, uh, uh, I'm a, uh, a, lame, a lame coach. You know, I'm uh, not, uh, uh, if there's anything that's disappointing to me, and by the way, retirement, I'm not sure that's the right word. <laughs> I'm, I'm, not, I'm not retiring from anything. I'm, I'm going to live life. Okay. I don't have much left from what the doctors say, but I, I'm going to make it count. And uh, so, uh, which means I may be over here helping you <laughs> with some stuff that, that so. Uh, I'm going to run away now. <laughs> but, uh, I, uh, you know, it's, uh, they've had an underachieving coach this year. And, uh, and that's not right and that's not good. And, you know, and I said originally that I <clears throat> would know when uh, the, the time was. And I think, I think it's been made very clear. And uh, so, and most of it's, you know, it, all of it is health related. It's not desire related. I, you know, I, I'm still, uh, as, of, as of yesterday, I'm still saying this is what we got for next year. This is what we need. We're going to be great shape next year, et cetera, et cetera. You know how, <laughs> how, how coaches are. And so, uh, so that's, you know, that's bottom line. Uh, um, it's just, um, I'm just an underperforming coach that, and, and, and this is not a job for a limited coach. This is a job for somebody that is completely, uh, juiced up and has got 24 hour energy. That's got, uh, uh, the ability to the, to get things done, uh, and and uh, so so that's that's the main motivation. You 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 look at everything. Your your kids this season gave great effort, gave great enthusiasm enthusiasm throughout this year. A tough year, no doubt. How much did that carry you through this season? Well, the, the, of course, relationships is what carries all of us. We may not admit it. <clears throat> we may even have a little bit of a, 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 a guard against that sometimes relationships, but uh, something that, you know, that I've always uh, thought was very, very important is to have a, a direct relationship with my players. And I, I think uh, I have, you know, because of the limited time and all the <laughs> hospital trips and clinical things and all the, you know, I, I just kind of been a victim to say, you know, whenever the doctors say you're here, you're there. That's where I've been. And uh, I think I've missed three or four practices this fall. I've never done that in my whole career. Mm -hmm. And I've had pneumonia and everything, you know. <laughs> and so uh, so I, I think uh, uh, that certainly was a factor of the fact that I didn't have as much time relationally with players that I, that I feel very – called to do if I'm on coach and so uh, but as a group uh, you know individually and of course it comes back to you know I, I, I don't think I cut corners on my coaches I think I was able to uh, spend some good quality time with them and I think uh, uh, I think they carried a torch unbelievably well this year for me and uh, and for us not for me but for us for the program for Christ for what it's bottom line, what it's all about, and so consequently, you know, we had a, we, we've got a holy place down at, uh, regardless mm -hmm. of what Alan Morgan has done, <laughs> you know, I, I, I think he's growing some marijuana down there, you know, but, uh, but, but, Alan, forgive me, I'm, I'm joking, I'm joking. But, uh, that's uh, what we need right now. <laughs> that's the that claims that the athletic director. <laughs> Is growing marijuana. That's the way to go out with your final show, Ken. 
we've had a lot of fun jabbing each other about that. And he's excited the fact that there's probably been, I don't know, 18, 20 kids that's been baptized in that creek down there. So it's a it's a, it's a holy place to Alan. I can tell you that right now. He's poured his heart in that place. And what an unbelievable place, boy, to go meet with the Lord. Mm -hmm. And we went down there and met with the Lord and baptized a bunch of kids. And so, you know, I, uh, there's always every season, there's always those those high points that you'll never forget and then those low points that you'd like to forget that you probably won't you know and uh and i i think bottom line is what bothered me more than anything else i think we were an underachieving team this year mm -hmm. and 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 there's not anything worse to say to a coach in the is that you coach an underachieving team that's a <clears throat> You know, and uh, and I think I think that happened some this year, and I, you know, and I'm not making excuses for them, but they're young. They uh, made a lot of at critical times. They would make a a, a, a mistake that would uh, keep us from getting something done that needed to get done. But I love them because you're right. They didn't quit, and they had a fighting spirit right to the last second. How can you be? How can you ask for more? We're gonna say, this is going to be a weird show. <laughs> that happens when a 37-year head coach retires. I don't know how much we're going to talk about the Tusculum game this week. Um, we might run over with what we tape. Uh, all of that will be available on YouTube at the Carson Newman TV channel. But right now we're going to step aside for a break. Uh, Ken Sparks announcing his retirement uh, on Monday. Uh, but we'll be back after this. Welcome back to the final edition of the Ken Spark Show. I'm Adam Cavalier, the voice of the Eagles, alongside Carson Newman head football coach Ken Sparks. We say the final edition. It's the final edition for this season. It's the, the series finale, so to speak, as well. Ken Sparks announcing his retirement Monday uh, at 1 p.m. You, you've always said Not retirement. retirement, living life. Sorry. Don't say retirement. <laughs> That's a dirty word. I, I can't even find that word in the Bible. <laughs> So, so, come on. I, I got to get my thesaurus out. Yes. <laughs> yeah, you may need to help you, me with it because I don't know what word to use. The Ken Sparks Living Life Celebration. How's that, that do anything? Living so. Life Celebration. Mm, that, that, that's, that, that may sound a little bit too ecclesiastical. <laughs> I don't know about that. Yeah. So. Oh. <laughs> you, you said uh, the Lord called you into this. Uh, and he would call you out of it. Was there a moment uh, where you felt him call? Was there a specific moment? No, I, I think it's a process, you know, just like most everything is when you, uh, when the Lord's working on your life and trying to get you where you, uh, where he wants you, you know, it, most of the time it's a process. It's not a lightning bolt or signs on the clouds or, you know, some of the things that, that we sometimes like to have happen, but they don't happen. It's a, it's a process of faith. It's a process of saying, Lord, I, I, I'm surrendered to you. I'm going to do whatever you ask me to do. I, I go wherever you want me to go. I'll do whatever you want me to do. Uh, I'm in. And, and so it, that was part of the process. Yeah. Uh, again, it's kind of a weird situation. I think there may be this Sunday morning that we're shooting this at 7 a.m. and there are about maybe five people on campus uh, who are aware of this. You'll, you'll You'll tell your players Monday. Uh, tell coaches and, first. Yeah, tell coaches first. Tell yeah. your players uh, after that. Um, what's your message going to be to them? Well, I don't know. You're going to write it for me. <laughs> uh, you know, I, I hope the Lord's going to write it for me. And, of course, I've, I've spent some time thinking about it since I think I told Alan probably Friday uh, that this was it. And uh, so uh, – he, uh, so, you know, I've thought about it a whole lot. And of course, I got those three occasions talking to the play coaches, which I, I love with all my heart. Uh, and I want to make sure that I'm available for them to do whatever they want me to do. Uh, I, I don't want to nosy in when Alan names a head coach. I don't want to be part of that. If the, ever who he names his head coach wants me to help with something, I'll help, but not. I, you know, hey, I'm not going to be hanging, mm -hmm. okay? And it's it's not going to be the the new head coach plus Ken Spark. That ain't that's not the issue, you know. And then the second thing, um, 
uh, you know, I owe it to these guys who some of them committed four or five years of their life to be here to play in this program. And, uh, of course, I want to assure them that I have all the confidence in the world in Alan Morgan. I believe that we're, we'll pick a, a God's man for this job, that he will. Uh, and uh, and I want to assure them of that. And then the third thing, of course, is in me to press and, and try to give a testimony of why things like this uh, come about and, and make it a God honoring thing, not not a sparks honoring thing. <laughs> you know, I, I, uh, I'd like to not say a word about me if you want the truth. Uh, and, and then uh, Tuesday, I'm speaking at the Tennessee Baptist Convention that I agreed to do probably two or three months ago or a couple of months ago in Sevierville of the messengers to the Tennessee Baptist Convention. And so that's on my agenda, and that's something else I got to prepare a little bit for and think about and ask the Lord to bless. And it's kind of like a two minute offense thing, you know, you just poop, poop, you know. And, <laughs> and, uh, and that's, you know, but I want it to count. And, uh, and then, you know, who knows after that? I don't know. I don't know what all uh, uh, I'll uh, be required or the Lord will require me to do, but I'm ready. Whatever he wants me to do, I'm ready. I'm ready to do it. And uh, and uh, so, uh, but uh, I, I hate that I'm not going to be on Ad Adam Cavalier f uh, football show anymore. I hate that uh, that you haven't got me a speech already written out. Uh, I hate that uh, you know, and I've oh, never written a speech in my life because it needs to come from the heart. It doesn't need to come from some. Uh, pre-processed uh, whatever. I, I like how you say it more uh, from the heart. Maybe a few times in college I should have given speeches from the heart instead of just <laughs> winging. It didn't go good. <laughs> it, 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 it didn't go good, did it? That, I've that, gotten that decent way. at speaking and extemporaneously, <laughs> but as much to your disdain, uh, it, th this is to some degree about you, which also means it's about uh, the Lord, uh, what do you want your your your, your legacy to be? Well, that, that, like, like always, you know, uh, here here is success to me: knowing and doing God's will. That's success, and so uh, that's uh, that hasn't changed. It won't change. Uh, I hope uh, that I can finish strong. Uh, you know, uh, old Paul. You know, laid it out pretty clear when he's about to exit. You know, don't don't misunderstand me. Me and Paul are two different <laughs> two two different levels here now. But uh, uh, so, but uh, you know, he he said it very clear. I want to I want to fight the good fight. I want to finish the race. I want to keep the faith. And uh, and I uh, that's me. I, that, that's what I want to do. We're going to take a break. Again, told you this is going to be a weird show. Probably haven't had a football highlight in here yet. That's fine. Um, Ken Sparks announcing his retirement uh, on Monday. Uh, we're going to take a break. Uh, still to come, we might talk a little bit about the football game. I don't know. Uh, but we've, we are going to have a package from Michael Watrang uh, on Noah Suber, the Eagle Spotlight. And that will come up when we come back after this. Back on the Ken Sparks show, it's the series finale of the Ken Spark Show. Ken announcing his retirement on Monday with a 1 p.m. press conference. We're going to go now a little bit early to our Eagle Spotlight. This week, Michael Watrang shines it on Carson Newman quarterback Noah Suber. Senior quarterback Noah Suber waited three years to become the starting quarterback at Carson Newman. While he admits that it was difficult waiting his time, he understands that it allowed him to learn the offense and his role for the 2016 season. Being a quarterback, you take on leadership qualities. Um, so you, you're that person at practice, getting everybody, you know, keeping everybody excited. Um, you got to be up tempo. Um, you're 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 actually the person uh, most people look to as like a like a coach kind of. So you gotta you gotta know everything, the ins and outs of defenses, as well as what what everybody's supposed to be performing on offense. So uh, it's a big role. The signal caller's knowledge has been on full display when healthy this season as he ranks second in the league in passing yards per game. Quarterbacks coach Brock Persley said that Suber's management of the team 
and adversity has set an example. I think he's done a great job handling everything that's happened to him. He's gone from, you know, it's his first year starting. He's been injured most of the season. And I think the way that he handled the injury was great because he really got those young guys prepared, kept preparing mentally like he was going to play every week, even though there was a week in there where he didn't play. But every week he came back, handled the adversity great, handled everything in the game great. I mean, he's been a great leader all season for us. Redshirt freshman Tyson Heron started in place of Suber at Brevard and credits the senior for helping him learn the offense. The tale of Suber is one that Heron has taken to heart. It teaches me to be patient. I mean, you got to be humble, especially when you got better guys in front of you. I mean, Noah, Noah's a great athlete, great kid. I mean, he's definitely better than me right now. And I just, I mean, you have to be humble and you got to be patient and all this. And I mean, he's really taught me that because, I mean, I, I could only imagine having to wait, you know, four years or three years, whatever it is to, you know, start, and especially behind DeAndre, who's a great athlete as well. I mean. I mean, it just seems like there's always someone better in front of you, so I mean, you just got to be humble in that. Personally echoes Heron's sentiment as the quarterback's coach uses Suber's story to prepare the young field generals for their time in the spotlight. I think it's one thing where those guys can learn how to be an overall quarterback in terms of preparation, in terms of the things you're supposed to do on the field, off the field, his leadership qualities. Biggest thing too is just leading by example. When he's out on the field, he's giving it 110%. And, and things like the fans don't see this on Saturdays, but in February when it's 15 degrees outside, we're running sprints. He's the first one every sprint. He's the first one up in every line. He's the first one doing all of our cone drills that you can learn a lot from Noah Suber, Suber just by watching him off the field. At the end of each season, the seniors give speeches to the team summing up their careers and what it has meant to be an Eagle. Suber stepped away from the X's and O's and focused on what type of people the younger players need to be to really soften their hearts and uh, take in what the coaching staff is teaching us here. Um, because I know that's what got me through a lot of things, you know. When you come to college, uh, it's four years of your life and you, you go through various trials and you just gotta really be grounded. So um, just really t let them know that they need to um, just tear down that barrier and be transparent. Listen to what the, what the coaches are saying because it really, it really helps. Suber has soaked in the wisdom from an experienced coaching staff. Coach Ken Sparks gave a glaring review of his quarterback saying, quote, I have a lot of respect for him. Back in my day, I'd want him fighting with me and not fighting against me because he is so tough. For the Ken Sparks Show, I'm Michael Watrang. All right, thank you very much, Michael Watrang and uh, Ken Sparks, Noah Suber, a, a guy who was beat up and banged up. All year. All year, uh, but again, the effort, the fight out of him. Uh, what was it like to line up with him on your side this season? Well, it, it was a, a, a special blessing to me uh, to be part of Noah Suber's life uh, because I watched him be open to growth. I watched him grow. I watched him uh, become more and more the man that God's created because God's created that one special. Mm -hmm. And I, you've heard me say it before a bunch of times. If I ever got back in my old days and I wanted to go get in a fight, I'd, I want Noah with me because he is a fighter, boy. He is something. And, uh, and I think, you know, it's the same principles. You know, you got to fight as hard or you don't. You know, and, he's, and in the spiritual realm, we better have a fighter's heart these days or we're going to get wiped out. And uh, so I've watched him fight through some tough situations. I've seen him handle some things that I really have a, I, 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 I love Noah Super. Was there a, a moment this season where he, he took on, he, he became the Noah Super that we know now at the end of the year? Well, I, I think uh, he, it was again, process. Mm -hmm. he, he has continued to grow. He just, he did the things that it took to grow. He got it into his, he, he got into the Word of God uh, more often, I think, is what he said with his senior speech. Uh, and I think, uh, I just think that uh, he was a whole, he was uh, very open, he is very open to being what God wants him to be, and that's pretty doggone special. Well, what about, I mean, we, we kind of touched on it earlier. Uh, this season was a special one in the uh, decisions for Christ that were made this year. We kind of talked about it uh, when we were. Uh, in your office before the pregame interview on Thursday, that it has felt like every week you've gone down to Mossy Creek this for man. a baptism. Yeah. And that's not uncommon, uh, it, but it typically happens all preseason, but right. not in week 11 in the dark. 
when it's <laughs> 50 degrees outside. Right. What's that mean to you that it, it's been kind of like Mossy Creek? It's been a continual flow of people to the Lord. Well, that's, uh, that's the result of uh, a coaching staff that's praying for their position players and pouring into them and telling them the truth of God uh, and kids being open to hear the message, you know, and and uh, being pliable in the, in the Lord's hands and denying ourselves because, you know, back to our theme, you know, as long as you're into me, you're never going to get to he, mm -hmm. you know, and I think uh, that's... Uh, uh, that's something that these kids have done. We've always had, we've had more numbers than we've had this year. Of course, I don't, I'm not a number guy, you know. But SID <laughs> needs to start keeping track of the baptisms. <laughs> uh, I'm not sure that's the right <laughs> idea. I love my numbers, uh, though. Uh, well, I understand. <laughs> I, I understand that. <laughs> and, uh, but, I, you know, just, uh, uh, again, I think that's uh, – uh, please don't give me any credit for it. And the fact is, I gave the coaches credit for it. I gave the kids credit for it. But I got to be careful about giving second-handed honor because all the honor really goes to the God of this universe, the creator, the planner, the, the, uh, uh, the caller, the one that's got all this already figured out, and he just wants us to join him, you know. And uh, so I give him the honor for all that's happened because there's been – you know, a lot of great things happen and, and through 37. And then, you know, I've been here 47. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I, squeezed four year, uh, five, uh, I squeezed five years of college into four. No, no, I squeezed four years of college into five. My fault. There's your number, see? You know, so. And, and then I was here five years as a, a assistant coach with Coach Sheely and, uh, for a couple, three years. And then I was a track and coach for a couple of years. But anyway. So 47 years of my life, Carmen Newsom College, <laughs> university. university. <laughs> uh, what do you hope the, the Lord has in store for you now? Well, uh, to uh, uh, it's not so much of what he's got in store for me as, as much as I'm willing to give to him. I think that's the, I think that's the question. Mm -hmm. And uh, he'll, uh, I don't know as far as specifics, except I'm available to, you know, whatever needs to happen here uh, without being nosy and all that stuff. And I hope, uh, you know, one of my uh, great failures, you know, being here 47 years, and you know, if you're someplace 47 years, you love this place. Mm -hmm. There's not, I, don't, I don't have to pretend that I love this place. I don't have to mouth it. Yeah. It's in my heart. And I guess my only major disappointment is, is that I did not have, uh, I did not see in my 47 years a lot of us coming together as a team at Carson M. and faculty, administration, staff, where we were doing it according to God's playbook, not according to our cultural and, and, and the way we wanted to do it. You know, uh, to me, that's my, my biggest disappointment probably. This is the series finale of the Ken Spark Show. We've got one final segment left, uh, and then we'll leave you with a highlight reel from Tusculum and some of the top moments from this season in the past few years. We'll get that when we come back after this on the Ken Spark Show. Welcome back on the Ken Spark Show. It is the series finale. Ken Sparks announcing his retirement uh, Monday with a press conference at 1 p.m. Uh, Ken. Uh, let's 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 have a little fun. Uh, uh, I have to make you relive it one more time. Uh, North Greenville in 2013. Uh, you, know, you I love the look in your face. You have no clue where I'm going. I don't. Uh, you, you've made your way into many a press box in your day. <laughs> <laughs> uh, here's the story. I'm I'm down there in the. Uh, uh, trying to find my way up here, trying to find the stairs. I go in the ladies' room, you know? And, and uh, there's, there's a guy there to have You'll never let me forget no. either, <laughs> never. Ken Sparks, uh, your celebration of life, I guess it's uh, whatever life has planned for you, the Lord has planned for you. Uh, one thing we know, you will no longer uh, have to worry about wandering your way into a women's restroom. Thank goodness it was in South Carolina. 
Uh, <laughs> I thought it was a stair entrance into the press box. I, you know, I, I'm, I'm not a deviant old man. I'm really not. But, but, but I'm telling you, you talk about an embarrassing, embarrassing moment. And then I was stupid enough to share it with you. Yeah, you made that mistake, and yeah. I'll never let you forget it. Oh. Fact is, I think I came out on air. You did. <laughs> You know, I'm all for the confessing of sins. It's a good thing. <laughs> it is a good thing. But not on radio. <laughs> oh, mercy, boy. I uh-huh. never will forget how, how I was wanting to be a little ant to get out of there as fast <laughs> as I could. Of course, I didn't go very far in, but still. Oh. <laughs> uh, you, you talked about it last segment. Um, 47 years. Uh, what, what's your favorite moment from your time here? Oh, gracious. I, I, you know, I don't know. Uh, boy, there's been some highlights. Good gracious. Uh, the highlight for me right now, generally speaking, is all these guys that I've coached, you know, hearing from them, seeing how their lives are going down through a, a whole bunch of battles and, and seeing how they've responded. And just like yesterday, the ball game, Mark Isom, who played for me was one of our first All-Americans, uh, played for me on the national championship there in the early 80s. Uh, got on the bus and went with me yesterday. And, uh, and he was doing it to keep me upright. He was helping me. Uh, but, but I wanted him to do it because I just wanted to spend time with a, a, a very special person, you know, and, and, uh, and, uh, and some of the things that we were able to talk about yesterday was like we went back to the very first time we, we got together. And you can't buy that's priceless, mm-hmm. you know. And so, uh, and hopefully that you know he encouraged me yesterday. Hopefully I encouraged him. But that's what it's all about, and that's my highlights. A bunch of those guys, and that's my highlight. The, the theme for this show has been it's not been one thing; it's been a process. And so, okay, that's your. That's your highlight. It's been a yes, process it, and a lot of well said, things adding up. Well said, Adam Clear, Adam <laughs> Cavalier show. Uh, well said. That's good. Yes. Well, let, let's let's shut this sucker down. Okay. Uh, all right. Any, any any final thoughts from from this year <laughs> from a career? Well, not anything differently than we've talked about. Except, thank you, Lord. Uh, I I certainly. Uh, would be wrong if I did not give him total praise for everything that's 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 going on uh, in the past, that's going on now, that's going on in the future because he's the same yesterday, today, and forever. And uh, I just want to just grab hold of him as hard as I can hold on. Ken Sparks, thanks for letting me do this. Mm. Thank you for letting me be part of your show. <laughs> <laughs> Fight it back. (laughs) Here's what we're going to close with. Highlights from the Tusculum game and some of our best moments over the season. For the final time, this has been the Ken Spark Show. Thanks for watching. Now shotgun for Lancaster. Bell to his left. Snap back. He goes bring pressure from the backside. And down goes Lancaster. Malik Goodman. Eagles huddle quick. Second and goal from the one. Super takes. Quarterback sneak. He lurches the football over the plane. Touchdown. Carson Newman. Man in motion, takes the snap, rolls the pocket right, looking for the throwback screen, hits it to Wimbush left sideline, to the 40 and 35, 30, 25, 20, Wimbush down the left sideline, to the 5, to the goal line, but stopped shy, down at the 2 along the left sideline. First and goal from the 2, Eagles go with Wimbush, trap right side, Wimbush squirts in, touchdown, Carson Newman. Antonio Wimbush on the trap right side, bursts into the end zone. Center, split backs. Super takes the snap. Trap, left side. Taylor hops over the line of scrimmage. Burst free to the five. Taylor scampers. Four six. Touchdown. Carson Newman. Montavious Taylor. 18 yards. And the Eagles a PAT away from tying it. Eagles try to knock him off the ball. Super takes. Trap, left side. And the Eagles plunge in. Touchdown, Carson Newman. Jared Dillingham on the trap to the left. Burrows his way into the end zone. 
the junior out of Central, South Carolina. Snap back to Hughes, final play, lofts it up near his side to Cleckley, in and out of his hands, incomplete. Final score, Carson Newman 56, Linville State 46. And as sure as it gets foggy down at Mossy Creek, you can be sure Ken Sparks has career victory 300.